With Facebook ads, you're always in control of your budget and how much you spend on ads. When you run a Facebook ad, you can reach people based on who they are and what interests them. For you, it's a great opportunity to reach people who will be interested in your business. But there are other businesses on Facebook who want to reach those people too. We want people to have a great experience on Facebook, so we limit the number of ads they see. So when you run an ad, you're taking part in an auction to reach them. It works like this. After you've created an ad and chosen the audience you want to reach, you'll choose a budget for the total amount you want to spend on your ad and how long you want your ad to run. By default, we'll optimize your ad to reach people who are likely to be interested and take action. This is the bidding part of the auction. We bid on your behalf to reach your audience and make your ads as effective as possible. Of course, you can always set your own bid too. As your ad reaches people on Facebook, your budget will be spent. We'll never charge you more than the amount you choose. When your budget reaches zero or the ad reaches its end date, whichever comes first, your ad will stop. But at any time, you can change your budget or pause ads. You're in complete control. So when you see that one ad is performing well, you can add to your budget. Or if another isn't doing well, you can pause the ad and change it to make it more effective. Facebook ads fit any budget because you choose what you want to spend. And we give you the tools to manage your ads and improve them based on their performance. So you can stay within your budget and continue to reach your business goals. In the next minute, you'll learn about ad budgeting and bidding and how it affects the cost of your ads. When you build your ad, you can set a daily or lifetime budget. In the campaign and ad set section, the per day option lets you set the amount you're willing to pay for your ad each day it runs. When you've reached your daily budget limit, your ad will pause until your amount resets the next day. With the lifetime budget option, you can set the amount you're willing to pay until your budget is completely spent. When you've reached your lifetime budget limit, your ad will pause. You'll also need to select your bid type. The type of bid you select depends on what you want to accomplish with your ad. Note that there are other bid types based on the objective you choose, like getting page likes or clicking a link. You'll have these options when you run these kinds of ads. Two types of bids you can select are for clicks or impressions. Bidding for clicks means you pay a fee every time someone clicks your ad. Bidding for impressions means you pay a fee for every thousand times your ad was served. Bidding for clicks is a great option when you want someone to go to your page, website, install an app, or even redeem an offer. Bidding for impressions is great for building awareness or when you just want to get your ad in front of a large audience. Finally, you can choose between manual or optimized bidding. With manual bidding, you set the price you're willing to pay for a click or impression, depending on the bid type you chose. When you choose this option, Facebook populates the field with a recommended bid amount. You can set the bid level as high or as low as you'd like, and you'll only be charged that price or lower. We even provide a suggested range of bid prices to help you meet your goals. With optimized bids, Facebook sets the bid price as low as possible and tries to get your ad to the people who are most likely to take action or care about seeing your ad. This is the easiest option for a lot of advertisers because we'll make your ad as effective as possible automatically. And at any time, you can change your daily or lifetime budget. Just click the arrow in the top right of your page and select Manage Ads. Just go to the ad set level of your ad Move your pointer over the budget column and click the pencil. Enter a new daily or lifetime amount and click Save. If you'd like to learn more about bidding, visit the Help Center at facebook.com slash help slash bidding.
With custom audiences from your website, Facebook gives you a way to re-engage people who visit your site, so you can reach them with a Facebook ad and bring them back. We'll give you a small snippet of code called a custom audience pixel, and you or your website developer should install it in the HTML of the pages on your website where you want to capture traffic. As people visit your website, both on desktop and mobile, the custom audience pixel you installed reports what website pages were viewed back to Facebook. With this information, we can build your website custom audience, a group of people you can potentially reach with Facebook ads. Since this group of people is made of your website visitors, it's a great way to re-engage people who have already shown an interest in your business. And you can reach specific groups within your audience, like people who visited a certain page or added an item to a cart but didn't make a purchase. Finally, you can use your custom audience to create a look-alike audience. With just a few clicks, you can build an all-new audience that's similar to the people who visit your site and more likely to be interested in your business. Website Custom Audiences offers an incredibly efficient way to reach potential customers and achieve your business goals. For more information, go to facebook.com slash help slash ads. In this short video, we'll walk you through getting your ads to the right people on Facebook. When you target your ad, you're choosing the audiences you want to see your ad. Under the Audience section, you'll find the traits and categories you need to identify the audience you want to advertise to. As you choose your audience, we'll show you how your choices either expand or narrow your potential audience. And remember, targeted ads on Facebook need to comply with all applicable laws. In the Location section, select at least one country, then add cities, states, or zip codes. These selections will get your ad to people who live in these areas. With age, gender, and location, you can identify people within your audience that you want to reach. With age, you can find people on Facebook who fit the age demographic for your business. With gender, you can choose men, women, or both. And you can click More Demographics to filter your audience further. Choose from things like relationship status, education level, and more. For interests, you can select from an incredible amount of categories to expand the reach of your ads. When you hover your pointer over a category of interests, our tool gives you a look at just how many people on Facebook are interested in that topic. To find categories that work for your business, you can browse the categories or just start typing, and our tool will suggest interests. In the Behavior section, you can reach people based on other interests, like how they shop, what type of device they use to check Facebook, and more. With connections, you can reach people who already like your page on Facebook, their friends, or people who aren't connected to your business. This type of reach is helpful when you want to reach a very specific audience or meet new customers. Now let's see how a business would use ad targeting. Let's say I want to get more people shopping at my small food market in San Francisco. When building my audience, I'll select San Francisco, California. When you select a city, you can adjust the distance to include nearby areas. Let's include San Francisco in the nearby areas within 10 miles. Take a look at the meter on the right side. The potential audience is very broad, with more than a million people in the area. Not much changes when I adjust the age to 18 and over. In the interest section, I'll type organic food, and my audience gets much more defined. Now my ad will run for people 18 and older in the San Francisco area who are interested in organic food. I can also add to the behaviors category and select traits like mobile device users. Now my potential audience is getting very specific, which means that when people click or engage with my ad, I'm getting an incredible value for my money because my ad only shows up for people whose interests match up with my business. With conversion tracking, you can track specific actions on your website. 
so you can understand when customers take specific actions, like making a purchase, and optimize your ads for better performance. Here's how it works. Say you want to run an ad on Facebook for a product in your online store, like a handbag. Before you run a Facebook ad, we'll give you a small snippet of code called a conversion pixel that you or your web developer can install in the HTML of the web page you want people to go to. Since you want to see when people buy your handbag, you would add it to the page that confirms the purchase. Next, you'll create a Facebook ad and choose the audience you want to reach based on location, age, gender, and interests. When your ad runs, we'll show it to people in your audience. When someone clicks the ad, they'll go right to the page you want them to. If they make a purchase, they'll land on the Payment Confirmed page, the same page you installed the conversion pixel. That code will now tell Facebook how many people clicked on your ad and took action. In this case, completing a purchase. And when you select Optimize Bidding, as people start to convert, that is, make purchases on the page you send them to, we can show your ad to even more people who are likely to convert. And when you get your ad's report from Facebook, you'll see how many times your ad was served and clicked, and how many people took an action. By using conversion tracking, you can measure just how effective your Facebook ads are at getting people to your site, so you can continue to reach your goals and help your customers take action.